Hey everyone, welcome back to the Guppy Garage. So I am now, I think, three days after I set up the Crayon fish tank. Absolutely incredible. Uh, so it's been running. I put some of the Stress Guard in here and I put some of the Sea Chem Stability. Um, so everything's going good for a new tank. And I checked all the water parameters. Everything is perfect. And we went over to the fish store. So let me shoot you guys over there so you can see some of the uh, setups they've got in this new fish room. It is called Waterfront SLC. So let's get over there. So we have arrived at the fish store. We are about to pick up some of our fish. Uh, we're gonna drop off some plants to them as well, but let's get inside and see the new store in Salt Lake City. It's really awesome. It's called the Waterfront SLC. We'll see you inside. All right, so now we're back. We've got our fish. They are so small. Look how cute those little guys are. So we are gonna be putting these four little guys into this tank. Oh, let's see if I can get, get them in without this tank overflowing. Nope. Nope, not gonna happen. Yeah. Maybe that'll work? I think it'll work, because it's pretty much just gonna be heated from the room anyway. Um, so once that kind of reaches the same temperature as the room, we can put them in. Um, but also, we went and we picked up some plants from a local uh, aquarist. Um, her YouTube channel, I will put in the description, it is Plants by Pisces, I believe. Um, absolutely incredible deal she gave me here. Uh, so five bucks for this grab bag of plants. And I absolutely love this. This is why you want to make sure that you are part of your local aquarium society or aquarium club of any kind because you can get such great deals on so many things and it just helps other people fund their hobby. Um, and I got some incredible plants from her. I am so excited. Um, so we are going to be kind of going through these, figuring out what plants we've got. And then I think I'm going to put like all these red ones, um, these like red and green ones. I think I'm gonna put all those into the crayon tank. I think that'll look really great in there. Um, so I'm just going to kind of pick through these and uh, get the ones that will kind of work for our color scheme. I mean, wow, I'm so excited for this. Um, this is going to be really, really cool, but I am excited to get some of these plants in here. Super incredible quality of plants. So go check out her channel. And uh, while these guys acclimate, I'm going to start putting some plants into the crayon. So I might just do a drip really quick, actually, so that I have space to actually put my tweezers in there so that they keep uh, acclimating while we are planting some of these plants. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got them done acclimating. We've got our plants in the crayon. 
So let's net these guys out and put them in their new home. I just realized it's probably gonna be really hard to see these guys go in just because there's no light on top because we don't have the top on because we have to put the fish in through the top. So I'll put some kind of footage in after they're in the tank. So we've got our four Phoenix Rasboras into the crayon now. They are all settled in. Um, so we are going to just kind of let them do their thing in this tank. I am so excited to have this all set up. I think it actually came out really good for being just a, like a two-gallon crayon. Um, who thought you could actually make a two-gallon crayon look pretty good? So I'm absolutely in love with this fish tank. I think it is awesome. Uh, we are going to leave these four little guys in there by themselves. I may throw a couple shrimp in, actually, I'm not really sure yet, um, but I really like just having like the four smaller fish in here, um, along with the plants and the red gravel. I think it looks awesome. So we'll just leave that going, um, let them do their thing in this new tank, and we'll uh, see you guys on the next one. Be sure to spread that guppy love. Have a great day. Oh.